Well, hey, strugglers. You're looking extra cute today. I'm sitting at the desk again. Here I am, another location change. My posters fell off the wall. It got really hot one day and the adhesive came off, so I gotta rehang them up. They're sitting back here. But for now, we're gonna just, we're gonna work with this space. Quick, before we start, if you know any of the higher ups at Tahitian Treat, hook your boy up with a sponsorship. Such an underrated beverage. So I don't know if all of you know this or not, but I make music. There's my SoundCloud right there. I've got three albums and two singles on there. I had to think about that for a second. The two singles are also on Spotify and iTunes and all that stuff if you wanna look those up. But this isn't about me. So the reason that I'm even mentioning that I make music is because sometimes I'll go on YouTube and I'll just search for instrumentals and beats. And I was looking through, I think it was probably like Young Taylor or something, one of his videos. And there was a kid in the comments section who said like, I'm definitely gonna use this beat. Um, check it out on my channel. So of course, you know, I went over there and I saw if he had used the beat. And it turns out it was like this 10 year old kid, which I think is great. I love when young people are interested in making videos and music and they're actually like making an effort at things. I think that's great. So it's this kid and he goes by Fox. That's his like rapper name, I guess. Scrolling through his channel, he's got a lot of videos. He makes a ton of songs. And of course it's not like studio quality, but he's not bad. He's got a pretty decent flow for a 10 year old, to be honest. And his songwriting really is, is pretty impressive. So I like this kid. Honestly, someday if he, if he keeps working at it, I feel like he could probably do this for real. But while I was looking through his channel, I came across a video called How to Make a Rap or Song Easy. This kid has got all the tips for making a rap or a song, and he's gonna make it really easy for you. If he's figured out the secret formula to making a good song by the age of 10, then he's gonna go far in life, trust me. But anyway, it was a live stream that he made, which is super brave in itself. A 10 year old live streaming his advice on how to make a good rap song. You, you have no room for error, okay? You know, you can't edit that out. You can't edit the bad parts out like I always do. He's just given his raw, unfiltered opinion, and I love that. So what I wanna do is I wanna watch the video, and I wanna take his advice and then make a song out of it, and then I'll play the song at the end of this video. So I don't think we need to waste any more time. Let's watch Fox Official's video on how to make a rap or song easy. Okay, so how to make a song easy. Song or rap. A tip for a rap, you can do either fast rap or slow rap, you can just do something like a song, but do it fast or do it slow. And you gotta do it something like You can't just do it like a song or it's a song. For me, I'm gonna write a rap. I think I kinda wanna do a rap too, but I'm a horrible rapper. So what I'm probably gonna do is like that sing-songy type of rap, like Migos does, or people like that, you know, any of these like new SoundCloud rappers. I'm gonna do something like that. First, what you need to do, you need like something like um, a book like this or something. Okay, hold on. It's been a while since I had a class that I needed to take notes in. Oh, I've never even used this for school. This was my college football playbook <laughs> notebook. I hope this works, Fox. You'll obviously need your pencil. Got it. The first thing is you need to come up with a name. Something that's popular and sounds really good. I think this is a unique way to write a song. Start with the name and then write a song about that. I've never really heard that before. New advice. Something that's trending or something. Something that sounds good, popular, and it's trending. Okay, so what's popular right now? One thing that's kind of popular in rap in general right now, I see a lot of people getting face tattoos. I think I'm gonna write my song about getting a face tat. I chose Fire Drill. Is Fire Drill trending right now? <laughs> I don't know where that name came from, but I'm gonna stick with face tat. <laughs> For beginners, I would start with the chorus. The chorus is the part that repeats it. Okay, let's start with the chorus then. I want it to kind of be like me contemplating getting it. So like I'm trying to talk myself into doing it almost. And I know everybody else thinks it's a horrible idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I think that's kind of what the course is gonna be about. Yeah, I did this. Another fire drill. We are chill. We are the stand still. Another fire drill. Ooh, that's pretty lit. I feel so cold doing what we told. They say it all controlled. You gotta keep yourself forever. We down in the center. We do whatever, whatever the weather. Damn, dude, he's fly as fuck. You should start with the chorus, then the verse. The verse is where you actually write the lyrics down. So what was I writing down for the chorus then? This is just mumbo jumbo. These are not lyrics. Um, and then it goes to the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus is, so is something like the chorus. Man, we're kind of going all over the place now, aren't we? I gotta go back and write a pre-chorus. It's basically part of the chorus, except something different. 
from the chorus. Okay, so let's make it different enough that it's not the same melody as the chorus, but it's following the same, like, you know, people think it's a bad idea that I'm getting this face tattoo, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's gonna follow the same theme with a different melody. Or you could do it like it's part of the verse, but you keep repeating that every verse. I don't put pre-choruses. He gives me too many options. I don't know which one to choose. I just do chorus, verse, chorus, verse, bridge, Chorus. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus. Are you following along? Cause I'm not. And then you have to do a second verse. Same thing. If you want, you could just do the same thing you did on the first verse and you can kind of change it or you could just put the same thing. I've never heard a song where they just copy and paste the first verse into the second verse, but I think what he might mean is that you have the same flow, same rhythm to everything. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna write different lyrics for the second verse, but it's gonna follow the same flow. This is coming along. I'm really, I'm having a good time right now. And then you gotta do your bridge. Bridge is like the most different part of it. It's like a whole new song. I'm just realizing now, I haven't even found a beat to use yet. So let me just, let me just quick find one. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. The beat is by Javen Music, so if you wanna check him out, this is pretty sick, I like this. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a bridge that sounds different than the rest of the song, like Fox is suggesting that I do. So I think I'm gonna have to alter the song a little bit. This is gonna be lit. So what I did is I broke this song up into all of its parts, so like, here, I got my verses, my pre-chorus, my chorus, I got them all color-coded and sectioned off. And then down at the bridge, what I did is I just took one of the pre-choruses and I pasted that in where the bridge was gonna be, and then I added these horns. I also pitched the whole track up just a little bit and I sped it up to make it a little a little more natural. So now we've got the beat completely ready and good to go. And we've got a bridge that sounds different than the rest of the song. All right, continuing on. And then you gotta do your bridge. You always need to repeat what you say or you could just, well, it sounds better that way. Um, it's kind of like a new verse, except with a different beat. Always need to repeat what I say. Okay, hold on. So let's make sure that when I'm writing this, I repeat what I'm saying. Ink me up. I'm gonna be, I want it to be ink me up. I want ink me up to be part of the bridge. So I'm gonna repeat ink me up a few times. Cause again, you know, we're getting a face tat. And let's throw in another trendy word. Let's throw in es get it. People have been saying es get it all the time now. It's like a little pump thing, I guess. It's all coming together now. It's all coming together. I wanna use another trendy word in here too though. I wanna mention clout at some point. Everyone's talking about clout nowadays. I'll put that in one of the verses probably. Please don't swear. <sighs> you see, I never do swear, especially on this channel, but I think I'm feeling a little rebellious this time. We are making a song about getting a face tattoo after all, so I think there needs to be a little bit of edginess to it. This is the one piece of advice I'm not gonna take. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna swear once in this song. After that, if you want, you can just end the song with part of the verse and the chorus, or you could just do the chorus. So there's the tutorial, guys. Keep performing and someone might put you on the radio. And that's it. We wrote a song, easy. I'm actually really excited to record this and see how it turns out. All of it was inspired by Fox officials, so if this kid is watching, you're gonna do big things someday. Wish some of you were watching me live. <laughs> don't worry, bud. There'll be quite a bit of people watching you now, so don't worry about that. When I turn my face down like this, my eyes look horrible. I gotta start talking like this more often. Ugh, druggy, handsome young gentleman. Dang, have it, it, does it always look like that? I gotta start walking around like this. All right, so without any further ado, here is Face Tat, inspired by Fox Official. Enjoy.
just can't wait to put that mark on my face Don't give a fuck what you say about me I think I've been playing it way too safe for too long I think I've been cookie cutting a place where my mom could be proud of me But now I see if I ever wanna be the type where the cloud could be a real option Coming in hot then I'ma need to figure out a way to be a rap adoption Cause I wasn't born to this But I got a foolproof way to conform to this now You can say what you want I don't have to agree You're trying to trash my vision But that won't ever stop me Cause I know what I want And I know what I need Might be a rash decision But I know it's never gonna haunt me I know that it's strange But homie I can't explain There's something I wanna change about me And I just can't wait to put that mark on my face Don't give a fuck what you say about me I think I've been going around with a clean face too long I think it's about time that my name gets on the top of all your minds Cause it's inked right by my dreamy eyes And of course I know that I can't go back Might give my girl a heart attack But really I don't know how else I'm left to express myself So you can say what you want I don't have to agree You're trying to trash my vision But that won't ever stop me Cause I think I know what I want And I think I know what I need Feels like a rash decision So I hope it's never gonna haunt me I know that it's strange But homie I can't explain There's something I wanna change about me And I just can't wait to put that mark on my face Don't give a fuck what you say about me Ink me up, ink me up, I'm ready I won't ever regret it I won't ever regret it Ink me up, ink me up, let's get it I hope I never regret it I won't ever regret it I know that it's strange, but homie, I can't explain There's something I wanna change about me Don't give a fuck what you say about me